Hey dear friends, welcome to Kotlin tutorial and this uh, this is a part one of Kotlin for JavaFX developer. So uh, let's get starting with Kotlin and JavaFX. Uh, I want to create a new project. From here you can choose Kotlin next. Uh, I want to name Kotlin FX tutorial So now I want to create a class from here. I want name Kathleen FX. This is a class of Kathleen. So as you can see now we created a Kotlin class Okay, I want to make this font uh, font So no problem. Now we have a class. Uh, our class name is Kotlin FX. In this class, I want to show you how uh, you can make a Kotlin uh, JavaFX. Okay, so you should inherit from application class. Okay, and also you should use the primary constructor of application. Uh, you need to import JavaFX. JavaFX dot application application okay uh, and then uh, the applic in this application has a constructor method uh, you should create that uh, and you should write uh, or write fun start okay as you can see it automatically alright it's alright start there is a value variable stage from the stage class okay uh, and also as you can see uh, here uh, this stage doesn't recognize because it doesn't import it so you can import it uh, import JavaFX that stitch import JavaFX that application dot stage why JavaFX stage dot stage yes now it's okay uh, we will write it the stage class 
and also we uh, uh, need a main method uh, I want to start uh, the main method from uh, from this class so I need uh, uh, I need to use compound object plug run the main method as statically so uh, to run as statically uh, you need to an annotation uh, gvm static okay uh, then you can make your main function okay array of string and this is your uh, your main method so from here you can launch uh, your application this is a static method which uh, come from application class so here you can uh, you can pass the this class and uh, here call class the job okay so at the first I want to make a button private btn and button oh sorry private where btn equal to now uh, because uh, when we uh, assign a null value to a button uh, uh, if you don't know uh, about uh, Kotlin syntax please uh, uh, flow my Kotlin uh, tutorial uh, Kotlin tutorial okay uh, this is Kotlin for Java developer um, uh, the prerequisite of this uh, uh, at the, in this section is uh, the Kotlin tutorial so you can follow my Kotlin tutorial in my channel uh, find uh, find out that and uh, then after that uh, you can start with JavaFX so you need to import uh, this button okay uh, import JavaFX dot control oh sorry javafx dot application dot control oh no 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 javafx dot scene dot control dot button okay now uh, I can initialize it but before initializing this uh, I want to make uh, an extract pan okay so also I want to import JavaFX mm, dot scene dot scene dot control dot stack oh uh, JavaFX dot layout we doesn't have okay so stack one that application no 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 stage dot so no problem uh, just create the class uh, stack pan uh, name it root where root of stack pan javafx that's in that layout okay as you can see stack pan is equal to stack pan okay and now you can create your scene where scene uh, scene 
is equal to sin you, you can pass the root for your sin and the height and weight also you can uh, you can put a color for your sin also so color that blue uh, orange what's up here uh, none of the following function can be called with the argument supply uh, okay now nah. supply in each parent double double boolean true okay Mm, okay, okay. I want to check again. Uh, no problem. Uh, if I remove, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, in Java fix, uh, you need uh, it, this is a, a double, okay, not an integer. Uh, so I want to put that zero, okay. Uh, now you can call your stage and set sin. There is not set, just call sin uh, is equal to sin okay and also stage that title is equal to um, cut lean java fx and stage that show but I want to call should that get not there is not get children just call the children that add and then uh, you can add uh, your button here okay between uh, btn is equal to new button uh, I want to name it click me and then you can add that here between okay uh, so now everything is nice uh, let's run our, our, our application Wow, perfect. It works nice, as you can see. But our button is is not uh, clickable because we uh, we don't uh, register it to any event. So I want to register this button for an event. Uh, Btn that you can call set on action. Okay. Set on action you can call that set on action method here uh, as you can see here is set uh, you can you cannot call on action okay you cannot call that on action uh, as like as this mm. Line. Okay, you cannot uh, work as like as this, or if you want the event, uh, 
just call set on action okay set on action and here you can pass the event okay I want to use here the lambda expression or I want to make an event here event handler event handler of action event uh, then you should overwrite overwrite what the fuck off so sorry sorry btn there should be because we put uh, a null value for our button okay we should make it as like as this okay now we can work with event handler okay event handler No, not this event. It is not this event, okay? It should come from JavaFix event handler. This, okay? event handler as you can see now it it comes from JavaFix package okay and here also action event action event okay then Then you can write. Oh, what's wrong here? What is wrong here? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just uh, can use the lambda expression. Okay. Uh, for example, print ln hello. World. Hello, dear. How are you? Okay, everything is nice. So run your application. And get the, the result. Perfect, perfect. Perfect, okay. That works nice. Thank you for wa for your watching. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos. Goodbye.